Hello, 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 and happy Friday. Whoop, whoop, happy Friday, happy Friday, happy Friday, happy Friday. So I am Charisma with Charisma's Caregivers Coaching. So thank you for tuning in today with me with our Friday, Friday. We need a name for our Fridays. We've been doing this now for almost a month, and we need a name. So... If you know what we should call this, you should just let me know because I'm not sure. So today, if you are tuning in with me, this is not a live as we normally have. This is a pre-recorded video. So the reason why we have a pre-recorded video today is because I actually had surgery yesterday. And um, I did not want to just leave my audience out there waiting for me because I know you all are like, what else am I going to do at the 10 o'clock hour if charisma is not on? I know you're not, but in my mind, you miss me at the 10 o'clock hour on Friday. So, you know, today I kind of wanted to talk to you about that. You know, so at this point I've had surgery, hopefully we didn't know. By now, I am out of surgery in recovery and I am doing wonderfully. Um, my pain is managed well. You know, the nurses are listening to me or my mother that's sitting at my bedside. Everything is going well and I don't feel like kicking anybody. That is what's going on right now. However, right now in real time, it is prior to surgery. And you know, the thing is, I'm a caregiver just like you all. I have a son with special needs. He has a diagnosis, KIF-1A. You've never heard of it um, because it is a very rare genetic disorder. Uh, when we were diagnosed two, almost two years ago, it was about 200 people with it. And today there's about 300 people with it. And that's not just in the United States, that's worldwide. We have a very close-knit group of people. So, you know, when I decided or agreed on this surgery, there were things that I had to get done that your average person wouldn't have to get done. You know, not most people, they just have to find someone that's going to ride with them, take them to surgery, and bring them back home. That's typically how, you know, most people operate. When you're a special needs parent or you're taking care of your grandparents, your parents, or whomever, you don't have the luxury of just finding out who is going to watch your loved one during that time. I didn't have that luxury. You know, I needed to arrange my mom to take me to my appointment. But there were also the what ifs of what if I'm here for this outpatient surgery and something else, there's something else they have to do and they have to keep me up to three days. That's basically what they've told me. I'll be here for a minimum of up to 23 hours, a maximum of three to four days. So I have to plan for the what ifs the same way you have to plan for the what ifs. I have to put someone in place that will be able to take care of my son for these three to four days if I'm not able to get out the hospital. And even if I am able to get out the hospital, I won't be able to take care of him. So I have to have someone that can take care of him. And then what about my recovery? Who's going to take care of him during my recovery? Who's going to take care of me during my recovery? I won't be able to drive for a couple of weeks. I'll be in pain. I'll be on pain medication. Uh, you know, there's so many things that go into it. It's not just, oh, you know, somebody, you know, pick up such and such and take care of them. I have to have step-by-step -step instructions on what to do to take care of my son. What is he allergic to? You know, all of these different things. One thing is I've already put things in place. Um, in Georgia, we have Tefra. Um, and in a lot of states, there's Tefra. Um, here is known as Katie Beckett. So we have a waiver. So my son qualifies for a CNA. So he actually has a CNA that comes um, to him during the day. You know, so I had to prep my CNA and get her ready for that. But that's not every day. That's just during the weekdays. Um, so then I still had to arrange for someone to come at night. 
so, you know, all of those things that we have to do as caregivers, you know, we don't think about it. We just do, 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 go, 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 go. And we don't really think about how much we really put into it. But it's so stressful. I mean, just getting prepared for the surgery is stressful, much less the actual surgery itself, you know, and those are things that we have to think about as caregivers. No one, you know, we, we're always going, we're always going, we're always thinking, coming up with new ways to do things, new, um, you know, keeping our head above water, always. So, you know, I just wanted to take some time out today to let you all know that you're really, you're not alone. You're not. I, I am right here with you. I am also a caregiver. I also have to make those arrangements, make sure they're taken care of. You know, I have a daughter that's older, but she has things to do as well. So she still has her job and all of those different things that she does on her weekends. So I don't want to take from her. You know, you don't want to take from your older kids to give to the ones with special needs or your younger kids to give to the ones with special needs. The same way, you know, you don't want to have to pull your sister and brother in to take care of mom that, you know, never wants to do anything. Why should you have to pull and pull and pull when they know you need a break sometimes, when they know you may have a procedure or a surgery or just any of these things? You know, a lot of times... It is the female, the mother, the daughter, the granddaughter that's left to take care of our loved ones. And we're doing it by ourselves most of the time. So when I'm recording this, I am practicing my self-care. I am doing my meditation. I am woo sighing and I am deep breathing. And putting my trust in the doctors, my faith in higher being, whomever that may be for you, and leaving you with a uh, word of encouragement that you are not alone we are in this journey together and if you need me i'm here maybe not this week <laughs> but trust me i have delegated the responsibilities so i want you to have a wonderful friday and a great day see you later I'm signing off Charisma with Charisma Caregivers Coaching. Have a wonderful weekend.